but it was a sharp pain, unpredictable. So I was walking with a cane, not because I needed it, but because I didn't want to put the weight on my wife. And then I could hurt her. Before, it wasn't stable. Every little movement, it was an unexpected uh, sharp pain. It was like when you put your finger on the electrical outlet, because I work with electricity, and it's a sharp pain, and it's unpredictable depending on how I position my body. And I would take a lot of ibuprofen, aspirin, anything. But then I learned that by repositioning my body, it would take the pain away. Sometimes it would take 30, an hour, laying on the bed to uh, release the pain, and then I would start again. But it was a sharp pain, unpredictable. So I was walking with a cane, not because I needed it, but because I didn't want to put the weight on my wife. And then I could hurt her. Came to a point where I couldn't stand up, I couldn't walk, and I actually had, was forced to retire. I thought I was going to be uh, retired for life, but now I feel like I'm, I'm ready to go back to work, and I am going back. I, I need, I'm very impressed with the surgery. I feel normal, I'm stable, and uh, I can sit down all day, I can stand up all day. Before, my limit was like 10 minutes. After that, the pain will force me to lay, not sit down. Because Dr. D was suffering to do surgery 30 some years ago, or 20. And it was a long, long time ago. He was young, I was young, and, and I told him. I started going to see an orthopedic. Uh, physical therapy did not work anymore. Mm -hmm. And I took all kinds of medicines, expensive medicine, painkillers. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that repositioning the body was my best bet. I don't want to ruin my kidneys or I know that too much uh, painkillers is bad for you. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and I uh, saw a doctor, another doctor, Dr. Dean was my second opinion. And after watching uh, and talking to people, I, I noticed that Dr. Dean had that, that uh, feeling of uh, comfort. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, he was a better listener than the other doctors that I talked to. The other doctors were insisting that I need this and I need that before you can do this and do that. And they had the x-rays and everything. So I came here and I felt much better with it. It's more um, comforting. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I was talking to people for his work. I talked to other doctors that I see, even dentists, and they said, oh yes, it's, they recommended him. So I, I went with Dr. Dean and I'm glad I did. Dr. Dean Smith. You know, I, I will totally recommend Dr. Smith to anybody that I know that needs back surgery. And we're both teachers and now retired, but we know a lot of people and, and a lot of people knew of him and have come to him. So it was really comforting to know. And his surgery was less evasive and that's why Tomas was seeing another doctor It was going to be more evasive. They were going to remove some part of the bone from the hip and all kinds of other stuff. And Dr. Smith was able to take care of it with one surgery. So that's why you're here. So thank you. I noticed that as soon as I woke up from the surgery, I was still a little, uh, what do you, what's the word, skeptical or? Uh, skeptical. Skeptical. Yeah. That it was going to come back, but it never came back. And I had some pains from removing teeth, you know, and stuff like that. And it would hit you a day or two. And I would really feel the pain. Well, I was expecting something like that, but I did not feel anything at all. The nurses came and said, it's time to walk. And I said, okay, let's see what's, what it's like. So I, I, I got up and I was walking. And something funny, the guy who put me in the bed, he saw me on the hallway. And he said, you're walking already? And I said, well, they told me to walk. And I was walking around the, the uh, hallways. And I kept hearing these people making their pain sounds on the hallway. And I said, wow, I hope it's at the same surgery or what. But, <laughs> but I was walking around and walking around. And, and, I, and I could do more, but they told me, and my wife told me, don't overdo it. So I went back. But I was always scared, like, OK, when is the pain going to hit me? When is the pain going to hit me? and it never hit me. And I even asked the nurse, can you give me a few pills to go and take home before I take my prescription? I, I never needed it. I just felt like a soreness, but it was from the cuts. But right now I'm doing all my normal chores. My wife has to stop me because she said, you're not supposed to bend, you're supposed to do that. 
and I said, I don't bend. Uh, the physical therapist came and he told me to do some exercises and I said, no, it's too early. But I went ahead and did it and it was all confidence. Now I can sit in the car. When I'm driving in the car, I don't feel the bumps. Or when my wife goes like this and pats me, I don't feel like it's falling on my back. And I have a lot of confidence. Well, I just well, have to say thank you, Dr. Dean Smith. Anybody watching this video, I highly recommend Dr. Smith. He's a great doctor. If I would not have seen this with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. He's given me back my husband. This is an ex hammer discus shot put thrower a long time ago. But I, I see Tomas moving like he was when he was young. It's amazing. The recovery rate, he took painkillers for the time that he was in the hospital because the nurses told him to. But as soon as he was home, he took them one day and that was it. His recovery time was amazing. He was able to go to the restroom, do everything for himself. And uh, the thing that I liked a lot as well is that after the surgery, a home health nurse care came to our home, checked on Tomas, the physical therapy. It was kind of like everything was aligned and they made the appointment for us to come back. And it's just, you can see for yourself, it's amazing, amazing grace. So thank you, Dr. Smith.